In today's episode, we're gonna take you on a tour throughout the mansion of the Sint Otavia family. Many generations of the family have lived in this place and their history goes back to over more than 200 years. The Otavias were renowned pharmacists in the area and they ran a pharmacy from this mansion for over more than 150 years. Many decades have passed since the house has last been used. There is no single piece of technology present inside of the forgotten home. Wandering through their mansion, you feel like you step into a time portal that takes you back into history. Everything inside of the house has stayed in the exact same state and it depicts a representation of their lives. Nature is now slowly making the house hers again and soon nothing will be left of where once the Octavius lived. Let's make their life remembered forever. Let's put on the Bros of DK Mouth Mask because I see it's a little bit moldy in here and the paint is chipping off and there's quite some mold inside this place so should be careful with our health. But like I said to you, this place used to be of the family Octavia. Downstairs here they had their pharmacy, upstairs is their living quarters and over the last 100 to 200 years the family Octavia has had this pharmacy and uh, run it, their grandparents, their grand great-grandparents and uh, then they took over and passed away some time ago and it's now all been left behind. So over here, the, over there the customer would stand and they would pass the medicine through here. There's nothing left of the medicine down here. Hmm. These rooms seem to be all emptied out. Oh, wow. Look over here. There's a metal cage. And this could be locked up. So maybe the important or the expensive medicines were stored in this room. See, there's also a little bit of furniture left in here. A few bed frames. And Even cemented up, they bricked up the wall over there. Lovely to see. Uh, not much. Okay, let's try to find a way to get upstairs. Nothing. Okay. I saw that there's a door open to the side over here. So let's have a look. Some more furniture in here. As you can see. Outside here, there are some bathrooms, some toilets for the customers when they were waiting, I think. Little sign over here, child brushing his teeth. And the building is all ready to be stud. It's falling apart. Oh. Look at the manual washing machine. <laughs> I always love to see these in Portugal. Over here you could wash your clothes and scrub it over here. Your soap would be here. You only see these in Portugal and, and Italy. In France they don't have them. In Belgium they don't have them. In abandoned buildings, buildings I'm talking about. Okay. We should be able to get up there, Jody. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. It's maybe on that side. Oh, I see something here. Let's have a look. Okay. Give me the camera. Thank you very much. Let's go. I think this is the way. Oh, look at all the ivy overgrowing the stairs over here. That's pretty neat, right? 
Yes. I saw a hole over here, yeah. <laughs> Let me go first. Yes, this is it. This is what we are searching for. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm in. Yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a look while Jordi tries to get in this place. Look, look over here. We come straight in a traditional Portuguese kitchen. <laughs> okay. Ready to go. Ready to go. I'm gonna give this back to you. And we're now gonna take you on a tour throughout this place. Show you what artifacts are left in here. Maybe figure out some history. Just let's start off. First, I want to point out this uh, exhauster over here. Very Portuguese with the tiles inside of there. As you can see, normally these were designed the tiles, but these ones aren't. I really love this old school stove. Was it a wood stove? No, it's a gas stove. Old school gas stove. Wow. And you have this big jug over here that in the day would probably be filled with water because wine seems unreasonable to me. It's just too much wine. Even for Portuguese people. What's this? I don't know. It's maybe to throw away some water or something like that? It seems like a little sink. Yeah, yeah a little like... sink. Hmm. Mm, strange. Ooh. Film that little storage area. Lovely to see. Let me take a look. Oh, oh. a lot of bottles. A lot of bottles, wine bottles, and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. It's underneath the staircase. I always love to have a look at the old school items that people used back in the day. Like this one, for example. I think it was used to make coffee or something like it, but I'm not sure. This looks, these look like very cool devices to me. <sighs> this, for example, what is this? I don't know. And this looks like more like yeah, a little bathtub for a child or something like that. Beautiful design. Hmm, let's look in here. Okay, some china and stuff like that. This bottle catches my interest. This looks like a bottle from the pharmacy company itself. Perfumere, Perfumaria. This is a perfume bottle. What do we have down here? Oh, there's still some food left. Oh, oh no, those are some medicine. See, some medicine left from the people. Oh. <laughs> What's that? It's like a cookie. Yeah, but it's, it's iron. It's rusted somehow. Wow. Let's close this up nicely again. Oh, this is a little stand to put your iron on when you were done ironing, so you don't burn anything. Put it over here. Wow, let's go further into the house. Enough time in the kitchen, of course. And then, oh yes, this is the hallway. Wow, it's really narrow. Look at that, let me stand here. Just show you. I can't even stretch my arms in this hallway. Yeah. And over here we have the dining area. Complete dining area with all the furniture just left behind from the people that lived here. Beautiful cabinet, display cabinet. I love the wood here all the time. Oh wow, yes, looks great. 
See these little balls here on top? That's when you know you are dealing with real antiques. <laughs> real old school antiques. The dinner table, the chairs are still around it. I love that Chesterfield chair back, uh, couch back there. So some sort of a Chesterfield couch. Mm -hmm, the first newspaper. 1981, the 20th of August, 1981. It's a Portuguese newspaper. But we see over here that this looks like an uh, American airplane carrier going to Libya. Interesting. I'd love to see what happened in the world back then. See, these people are flying. Back in the day, it must be pretty special for them to fly with an airplane. Nowadays, it's just very common. Lovely to read through these newspapers. Even if, if I can't speak Portuguese, it's still nice for me. Oh, we got another date, 1989. This is a British car magazine, see? It costs uh, 1.90. Oh, yeah. Okay. The hallway again. This floor is tremendously unstable. Oh my gosh. Let's have a look at the hole in the floor there. Watch out, Chuddy. I'm gonna, gonna grab you. Don't wanna fall into that because you will land in the pharmacy downstairs. <laughs> There's no one here to help me, No. <laughs> What's all of this? Oh my gosh. Yeah, but it's a book from the 1900s. See, this is writing from the 1900s. It's maybe from their grandparents or something like that. Oh, oh, it's a map. It's a map of France. Wow. Back in the 1900s, France looked the same as now. You can see the world, how it looked back then. You can see Sub-Saharan Africa was full region. Mongolia wasn't separated. <laughs> Look at Europe, how it looks. See, Norway. And, and Finland weren't separated. Wow. It's cool how, how the world transformed in the, those last 120 years. I got some uh, purses over here from the lady. I'm just thinking now in my head that these people lived back in that time when the world looked like that. And this house looked exactly the same back in the 1900s than it looked now. Don't know what this is. Some costumes of the man that left here. Lovely to see those. Always nice to see clothes left behind. It gives a real feeling to this place. Wow, the living area. Oh, hello, beautiful. That's that's my mine and Jordi's favorite kind of bench. Yeah. These are very, very Portuguese benches. You see it from the divided chairs that are worked into a full bench with four seating positions, completely upholstery designed. It's one of my favorite pieces of antique. I would love to have one of those in my house. Lovely. As you can see, they had some children over here. Little Carnival doll. Oh, don't want to break it. Nice cabinet. Oh, it's actually not a cabinet. I don't know. It's also not a drawer. I don't know the word for this piece of furniture. Just use to grab something out of the oven or something like that. Hmm. Oh, look over here. You got some family pictures of their great grandparents, maybe. So much stuff to grow through in this house in so little time. A full picture of the Portuguese army. Maybe yeah, the, uh, there was also army duty here in Portugal after the World War. And maybe the father of this place is somewhere in this picture and uh, presenting his country. 
defending his country. This might have been him, the father of this place. Oh. Let me try this. <laughs> no, I can't do it. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, look at one more uh, teddy bear from a child. Oh, the chair. And the chair behind it as well. Such a beautiful chair. What I really, really, really like about this place is that there is absolutely no technology inside. Not even a radio, not even a cassette, nothing. Just plain old no technology. This was their piano and the Hakun from Hamburg. Let's see if it still plays. It sounds even good, right? Yeah, it's really good. For all those years that's been left behind. <laughs> even had a star map on top of here. Wow. I truly adore this place right now. This might have been a picture of the grandma. Another army picture over there. From 1913, I see. Ah, more stuff from the children. Look, a little chalkboard from them to draw on. It always lights me up to see things like that. <laughs> Look what I just found, Johnny. There's a little emblem of, and it says Corona on there. But of course, Corona can be used for many things. There's also the beer Corona, but it's just funny because we're now in the pandemic. We're just starting to travel again. And uh, he has a little emblem that says Corona. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> it just looks like they just took the furniture inside of the house and just broke it and threw it inside of this room. It's just devastating. We dust stuff like that. Such a beautiful pieces of furniture. Look, it's your favorite. Oh, watch out. Singer sewing machine. Only the sewing machine on top is not present anymore. Oh. Got another piano. Wow, not a grand piano. This one is way worse. <laughs> Looks like a piano tuner or something like that. I think it is. To tune the snares on the piano. <laughs> they also got a heater so they could play in winter here in this room when it was cold. Just could play away on the piano. Also, looks like they sold these shoes or something like this. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Side. Other side of the hallway. There are mattresses in there. Why are there mattresses in there? I don't know. Strange. Here we come into another room. Ah, this is the bedroom of the place. Wow. Wow, all those mirrors. Just let the people see all the mirrors inside of this room. Every little piece of furniture has like, this one has three mirrors. This one has like 15 mirrors. On the nightstands are mirrors over here. Very unique design, in my opinion. Wow. Beautiful bed still. An old school chamber pot. Wow. It's a really nice one. Pack it up again. Behind you, Jody, if you can turn around. This was the vanity. This is such a nice vanity with this, these mirrors on the side. You can really see the sides of your hair. So the woman could make herself very beautiful in the morning over here. This is probably a box where she held her jewelry. jewelry. Wow. 
cold cream. Why do I always have to smell that? That's disgusting. <laughs> That's really disgusting. Oh. Yeah. Lots of medicines. Lots of medicines, but there are pharmacists, of course, so they just could just take it downstairs if they wanted to. Yeah. Cool. I also really like this clock. Oh, it's quite heavy. It's actually a really heavy clock. Wow, look at the mechanism here on the back. I'm sure if you give it a little polish, it still works. All things never die. Let's have a look, one more look in here. Yeah. Okay, the ties of the man are still here. Every morning, you could choose another one. The Goldberg is in his own shop. Let's go up the stairway. But first, let's have a look here to the side of the wall. It's completely breaking down. I don't think this building can be restored anymore. It's just too far gone. Watch out, watch out behind you. Jody, ah, you always give me a heart attack. <laughs> He's always just walking backwards inside of abandoned buildings. Last time he almost fell into a basement. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Here we come into some sort of a bathroom, but it's completely broken. There's even a hole in the ceiling here. Damn. I love how nature is taking over the place. Yeah, it's turning it back to green. <laughs> this marble top completely broken. There used to be, or oh, this used to be the sink inside of here. An iron sink. Wow. What was this? Is that here somewhere? Maybe know. there was a light above the door. Oh, something in my eye. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh. This looks more like an attic than an upstairs floor. It's more like a place where they stored, yeah, stuff that they didn't need anymore. Mm. Oh, this looks quite dusty. Some soles from a shoe. There's nothing in there anymore. Oh. Wow. What you can find up these attics is always so incredibly amazing. Yeah, over here. Hmm. heater. Oh. Republica. Portuguesa. It's an old school Portuguese post stamp. Place it back here nicely. Top of this heater. Yeah, some sort of a gas heater. And there's also some labels of wine or something like that here on the floor. Wow. This is a nice little little side stand, little table. I love that. <laughs> this upstairs floors look crazy. I don't just don't understand rooms like this where you throw furniture inside. Just sell that. Here is the balcony. Balcony to the outside. There's a small hole in there. Also. Yes, this is quite bigger than uh, the one downstairs. Yeah, but with all the stuff. <laughs> Let's have a look here first. That's from the children. Nineteen hundred sixty-six. This little comic here in the back. Portuguese comic. Oh, and they have all these bound letters. Oh, these are all the same. Same kind of uh, magazine, see? 1961. They collected them, I think, something like that. These are all the same, but from different times and from different years. This Juan, Juan Nina, Juan Nina, 1965. This one's really not that interesting.
What's this? Is this some sort of a washing tub or a bar yeah. tub? Is it plastic? No, it's from iron. That's iron. Yeah. Damn, I have no clue what this was used for. A lot of baskets in here. Oh, there's one more bedroom over here. Wow. Put straw inside of there. Look at that. That's so old school to put straw inside of your bedroom, uh, inside of your mattress. Wow. What an incredible place we just found. Yes, I think this was it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful place of the family Octavia and their pharmacy downstairs. And uh, yeah, if you did so, please subscribe to the channel to be notified every single week of a new video. Like the video so more people can see it. And in the description, there will be also a link to Patreon. There you can get these beautiful mouth masks and all beautiful benefits to help us out going around the world because it's quite expensive for our students. Thank you very much and we'll see you next week. Bye bye. Love you.